after Cyclone Nargis devastated Myanmar in 2008, Sidi arrived to help the survivors recover. To improvise production in the country, in 2010, the Buddhist NGO handed out quality rice seedlings to farmers. This year, the Buddhist NGO even decided to help rebuild 12 schools in the remote township of Tianying. Next, we visit the recently completed Bogyong High School to see how Tzu's assistance opened doors to a brighter future for students. The sound of reading coming from dilapidated classrooms. This is the scene at the Bogyo High School in Chang Township, Yangon Province. Due to a termite infestation, many classrooms are in bad shape. Furthermore, with a wall separating the classrooms, students have a hard time focusing on their lecture. During the monsoon season, we can hardly hear our teacher. The ceiling leaks whenever it rains. So five people have to share a row of chairs to prevent other classmates from getting wet. It is very crowded inside the classrooms. We need to fight for a seat. It gets really warm when we sit too close to each other. We always end up fighting when we push each other. Starting in March 2014, the Tzu Foundation began to rebuild 12 schools in the remote township of Kenya. I want our students to understand that they have to cherish and keep their new classrooms clean. By doing so, future students will always keep the classrooms clean and tidy as well. As soon as the classrooms are completed, students happily rolled up their sleeves to move in tables and chairs. Today, students can continue their education free from worries and dream big.